goodness, look at that. That's a herd of bison. I have barely even entered the park and uh, we're seeing this. Well, I think today's gonna be a good day. Welcome everyone to Ready Steady Charge. My name is Solomon and today we're going to do a bit of a shorter trip. So I'm visiting Elk Island National Park today and uh, it's only about 65 kilometers east of Edmonton. So the special thing that this park has to offer is that there are bison in this park and I hope I get to see some today. The other thing is, well, this park offers level 2 charging. So I want to show you guys how level 2 chargers, or destination chargers, are meant to be used. So I'm starting with 48% battery, which is actually more than enough for a round trip there and back. But they have level 2 chargers, so I'm gonna get there and plug in. So, let's go! Okay, we're here. Um, it's not too long of a drive, about an hour. And on our way in, I saw a herd of bison, which is quite nice. Um, I really like that. So we're here at a charging station. Uh, let's just take a quick look at uh, what kind of numbers we're working with. So we arrived with 35% battery. And let's take a look at the consumption. Consumption is 7.1. That's a lot better than the winter time. So, as you can see, um, temperature really makes a difference in terms of your uh, consumption. Now, if you want to see what the consumption is like in winter, make sure you check out our video here. Okay, so we're at the uh, parking lot. Now, I am here on a weekday just to avoid the crowds. I expect there to be a lot more people here on the weekend. So let's take a look at the charging station. So we have a total of uh, four charging stations here. And each of these has a Tesla plug and a J1772. So let me show you what they look like. In terms of the Tesla plug, of course, this is uh, only meant for Tesla. So that's what that looks like. And all other vehicles that are not Tesla's uses the J1772. So this is what that looks like. So a Tesla vehicle can charge with the J1772 uh, if they have an adapter. And conversely, I do believe there is a uh, Tesla 2 J1772, so non-Tesla vehicles can also use a Tesla plug. But we have both available here, so uh, let's plug in. Okay, so we have that open. Let's take this. Alright, and let's go inside and see what kind of charging speed we're getting. Okay, I just plugged in, and let's take a look at what the charging speed is. Ah, 7.5 kilowatts. That's actually pretty good for a level 2 charger. Um, this is amongst the highest charging speed I've seen for any uh, level 2 charging or AC charging. So that's really nice. Now Tesla vehicles, some of them can go up to 10 to 11 kilowatts. And of course, that has to be achieved by using the uh, Tesla plug. But 
This is really good. Let's take a look at the real world charging speed. So this is uh, the charging speed after charging loss. Now it's at, well, let's say 6.7 kilowatts. So what this means is actually, we're going to be getting more than 10% battery per hour. All right, so I'm on my way to the first trail. It's called the uh, Astotin Lake Trail. Now in Elk Island National Park, um, the area is quite flat. So there's you know, no mountains, just little hills. Um, the trails are also quite short. Now, one thing you do have to be aware of is uh, this is a very marshy environment. So, lots of mosquitoes. And I brought plenty of insect repellent, so hopefully I won't get bitten. But, uh, you know, as soon as I go near a body of water, they tend to swarm me. So, yeah, lots of insect repellents. Well, we're basically at the end of uh, this trail. Um, it's a loop, so I basically completed the loop. So I think what I'll do is I'll go to a different trail that's on the eastern side of the park, and I think we'll get a better chance of seeing a bison there. So let's go over there. Hmm, there are some clouds rolling in. Now when I checked the weather report, um, it did look like there could be some rain in the afternoon. So if it pours too much, um, probably not gonna go hiking for too long. Hopefully, even if it rains, it's not too bad. Okay, well, we're back from the first hike. Um, let's check out uh, how much battery I got. So, as you can see, we're at 50%. Uh, this is more than what we started with today. So, more than enough. So, I've only been gone for less than two hours. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, this is charging at a little bit more than 10% per hour. So, I, I had a little snack and uh, let's go to the trailhead for the next hike. Well, what do you know? I was just leaving this uh, parking lot and one of these guys showed up. Yeah, I'm just filming inside my car just in case because uh, this bison is kind of close and I don't want to get any closer. Yeah, look at this guy munching away. And you know, for such large animals, they are actually quite silent. And when they're in the woods, they do blend in, so... 
a lot of times you wouldn't notice them around, even if they're kind of close to you. Well, that's what I wanted to do today, see one up close. Alright, we're here, and uh, this is called the Hayburger Trail. Uh, this is closer to where I first spotted that herd when I came to the park. So, hopefully I can get to see some more bisons. Alright, let's go. Alright, we've been hiking for a bit and we came to the uh, beginning of the loop. So we're gonna go this way and then we're gonna come back that way. Okay, we're about halfway through the loop. Um, so far, unfortunately, no sightings of bisons. Um, I'm hoping that this uh, southern half of the loop, I'm gonna see some of them. So let's see how this goes. Do you hear that? I think that's either frogs or toads. Yeah, I don't really know what that sound means. All right, we've done the loop all the way around and uh, after about 10 kilometers of walking, did not see any bison, not even a shadow. Plenty of a dung on the ground, but uh, no bison. So let's go back to the parking lot. Before I go home, um, I came across these guys just chilling. Um... Let's go in and take a slightly closer look. Not too close though.
Thank you so much on joining me today on our trip to Elk Island National Park. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed looking at some majestic bisons. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more electric vehicle content. My name is Solomon and as always, see you on the next one.